Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how to create a beautiful boutonniere and corsage set for prom or any other occasion. We're going to be using some hyacinths, some silver sprayed ruscus, some ribbon as our accent is going to be silver ribbon. You're going to need some wire and you're also going to need some pearls. We're going to begin by taking our pearls, cutting off about four inches of wire and looping it through the pearls. Make sure that when you're looping it through, you don't have to do it halfway. You can kind of aim so that one, one piece is bigger than the other so that you can have more thin, more easy to work with stem like so. You don't have to worry about that. So you don't have to worry about making it even. Just make it so that you can secure it and twist it around. These we're going to be using to create or prepare our hyacinths and you're just going to take a big one, big bud, and you're going to poke it through the middle like so. We're also going to need some white floral tape and what you're going to do is just take that tape and wrap it around your hyacinth. You're also going to need to make these ri little ribbon loops. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to take a piece of ribbon and loop it twice, like so. Cut off at the end there. You're also going to take some regular wire here. I'm going to pinch it and then you're just going to wrap it around, like so. And we're going to do the same thing, taking our white floral tape and wrapping it around to cover the wire. Make as many as these as you feel you need. And just continue preparing everything until you have enough to create your boutonniere and your corsage. So prepare as many hyacinths as you need. You can use roughly about three or four for a boutonniere and about five and six for a corsage. So now I'm just going to show you how to prepare a leaf. These are the silver sprayed ruscus. You're simply just going to take it and take a piece of wire and just loop it or poke it through rather like so and then just bend the two ends over. Take the longer end and twist it around the very bottom securing the two ends together and your leaf. Now you can bend it and twist it and form it in any way as you like. So I'm first going to show you how to create the boutonniere. You're going to take a big leaf and you're going to simply place one of your hyacinths onto it. Take your ribbon pieces and just continue to shape and form your boutonniere as you'd like, making a design that you feel comfortable with. It's a very quick and easy process. And it will take you no more with preparation to do about 15 minutes, maybe even less, depending on how big or small you want your boutonniere to be. You can adjust your leaves like so, and then use your white floral tape to secure everything in place. Adjust anything to fix the look of it. Put some more ribbon as your little filler. Also, you can trim away any pieces of leaves that you'd like if your pieces are too big. And continue to wrap and secure with your white floral tape. Cut off any extra ends. And now we're just going to use our ribbon here to wrap the bottom up. Now we're just going to take some pins here to secure our ribbon. 
and finish off our boutonniere. And there you go. I'm very quick and easy. It took me no more than three minutes. Super quick and super easy. And now I will show you how to create the corsage. For the corsage, we're going to need these little wristlets. This is to place it on your wrist. And in order to secure this to your corsage, you're also going to need a pair of these thick pliers. But we'll show you how to do that later on. So just begin by preparing your hyacinths, your leaves, and your ribbon. I'm also going to show you how to create a little bow. We're also going to add that to our corsage. Just simply use the pinch and twist method. Take a piece of wire and wrap it around to secure it. And then we can build, begin building our corsage. So take your biggest leaf, put a hyacinth on it, put your ribbon on. Remember that corsages are a bit bigger than boutonnieres. So you're going to need about maybe double the amount of hyacinths you used for your boutonniere. So in this case, I will be using six or seven. I'm also going to be using more leaves. I'll be using about five leaves for this and a few more pieces of ribbon. Remember to wrap it with your white floral tape. One important thing to mention is that this upper part, this first piece, you want to make sure you wrap that with your floral tape because we're going to be using that piece to attach our wristlet. That's going to be what we're going to be attaching our wristlet to. So you want to make sure that piece is on its own very secure and very thick so that you can attach your wristlet to it. So adjust anything to your liking. Add in your ribbon, cut off any extra ends, wrap it up with your floral tape, and now I'm going to show you how to attach the wristlet. So you're going to begin by bending those two pieces at the very top. You're going to attach it to that upper piece that I mentioned earlier, and you're going to take a pair of pliers and kind of squish it together to really secure it onto there. Then with the bottom part, with these two bottom pieces, we're going to do the same thing, bend them over, and then take our pliers to secure it extra tight. So once you're done securing the upper part, you're going to also secure and bend at the bottom, like so taking your pliers and squeezing it very tight and securing, bending over the wire and securing it very tight. As you can see here now, it's secure and it won't come off. We're also going to be using some floral tape to wrap it up extra. This is also going to make sure you cover any pieces and hide anything so that it doesn't look ugly. And then there you go. You have your corsage, and you have your boutonniere, and you have your prom set. So thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns below, and don't forget to subscribe.